Hey guys, it's Chris coming to you again with another video. I wanted to put this thing together because I encountered an issue last week and I looked on YouTube and Google to try to solve it and I couldn't find it. So I was able to really figure it out on my own and uh, wanted to make this available for any of you guys who may be having the same problems. So what the issue was, I came out and tried to start up my wife's scooter. I bought this scooter for her about two months ago. That's the Buddy 50 scooter. Um, and she's had a lot of fun riding that. I got it out last week to uh, take it around the neighborhood and get some gas for it. And, uh, and lo and behold, it wouldn't start. And this thing is brand new. Like literally, it is two months old. So um, I was a little confused as to what the heck was going on here. And I'll um, sort of explain what was happening. So I came out to start up the scooter and um, it wouldn't start. I had the keys on, had the uh, ignition kill switch on. I turned the button and cranked on the throttle and nothing happened. It was kind of going um, The battery was working, the front light was coming on, uh, the gauge lights here were coming on. Now, full disclosure, this happened last week. I figured it out, so I'm gonna start it up for you to show you that it works. Okay, so the scooter works just fine now. It's uh, sat around, I did ride it for about an hour that day. It sat around for about a week uh, now and still totally fine. So um, I'm not exactly sure what happened. I think maybe just the, the gas got a little stale, maybe it got a clog in the line, something, no clue. So anyway, that happened and I went on um, YouTube to figure things out and I looked at the videos to see you know, who's got at least couple hundred maybe a thousand views to figure out a problem well I only came upon a couple of videos one of them um, it was from a, a dealer they said cover up the um, intake um, on the bike and as far as I know this doesn't have an intake on the bike um, maybe I could cover up the exhaust I don't know what that would do anyway I couldn't figure out anything there um, another guy, it was an old guy in Britain um, who had a scooter and he was blowing into the gas tank. So I did that and I'll show you exactly how I did that. I went and got my vise because on this scooter you have to hold in the front brake which is over here on the left hand side and you lift this up to get to the gas tank. Gas tank is right here. So in order to blow into the gas tank and start the bike, I couldn't, couldn't do that. So I had to give it a little assist there. So I tried blowing into it like this, like covering my mouth, um, even put my mouth directly on the gas tank. That does not taste good, by the way. Um, it didn't blow back, but I was, it was not able to push anything down into uh, the system there. So that didn't work. Um, I even got a little um, PVC pipe that we had laying around, it was about a foot long, so I could kind of blow into it from here. That didn't work either. The other option that I saw was uh, some guy taking apart like a super old scooter and trying to get to the guts, and that sort of got me thinking, well, the battery I'm pretty sure is working. Um, really, I just need to make sure there's a spark uh, coming from the spark plug. Um, now, I don't know anything about spark plugs, but um, the, the people that I saw, they're you know taking these spark plugs out and checking them. Um, they're using like these um, uh, wrenches, not a torque wrench, but a socket wrench um, with the deep sockets. Well, I don't have any deep sockets, but I did remember that I had something, and I think this is a um, shit. What's that fucking called? God, I hate it when I have brain farts. Uh, a spark plug. So I think this is a spark plug remover, changer thingy, whatever. Maybe it came with a um, uh, lawnmower or a weed eater or something like that. I don't, I don't have a lawnmower. So um, I don't know what it came with, but I was like, I think this changes it. Now I was looking to find out where the spark plug is on this bike. And let's see if I can get to that. So the spark plug is right down up here can you guys see that it's up here 
me put my hand on it. So I was able to pull this out here like this and I'm looking inside of here and I'm like, mm, okay, I don't really see anything there. That doesn't make sense. There's the end of the park spark plug sticking out, but shit, I can't get anything there. So it's sort of right behind this area here. Um, and this guy is held on by this screw and this thing just pulled up and these screws here. So I thought, well, I can take the screws out. I probably can't screw up too much stuff just by taking the screws out. So let's see what happens when that happens. Hold on. Okay, now I got the screws out. Just need to pull this little plastic guy off here somehow and forget how I popped it off. There we go. Okay, so that just snaps on there by these little plastic pieces there. Nice and easy to remove. Uh, now, um, so now I have access to said spark plug. So let me get that focused in right there. Right, nope, not down there, right there. So here's the spark plug right down here. Um, so now it's time to go get that little tool that I found. This tool and see if I can take it off. So um, there's these little holes in the end of that tool. I think that's to get some leverage for it, but I'm not exactly sure, and I have no idea what size this thing is, so we're just gonna try the bigger one and see if that works. So, um, yeah, that actually works pretty good, but I need something to get some additional leverage on that. So I think if I put something in the hole there, then um, it'll be able to do that for me. So now the first time I did this, I actually had this old file, well, the file snapped in half. Can you see that there? The file snapped in half. So that wasn't strong enough. Um, then I looked for this and I'm assuming this goes with it. It looks like it probably does. And um, so I'm able to just put that right down in there and then twist away. So righty tighty lefty loosey, right? See if I can do this with the camera. Ugh. Nope. Camera. Maybe this. Okay, so I wrenched that loose there, and uh, now I can just pull that out finger, by twisting it out with my fingers here. And now I can just grab it. So here's this little spark plug. Now, hold on, focus, bad camera, focus. There we go. So let's get up nice and tight here on a focus. So I don't know what spark plugs are supposed to look like. Um, is this a clean spark plug? Is this a dirty spark plug? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, it looks kind of dirty and gunky to me. Um, so I thought, you know, maybe I could um, clean it off with like a wire brush. Like that's probably a good idea um, to do that. But I was a little impatient. So. Um, it looked okay, but it looked fairly dry right there. So you see that? You see that little black mark on my hand? So there's, you know, something there, but like it's not caked in grease, grease, in gunk or gas or whatever it was. Now I smell it right now. It smells like gas, um, probably because it's now working. I don't know. But anyway, let me get to the point of what I actually did. So here's the thing that I'm kind of proud of. 
Uh, let's open this puppy back up here. Now, so as we can see here, we have our trusty gas tank. And what I wanted to do was to get some gas on the tip of that spark plug. Right there, see that end? And so I, I'm like, mm, try to dip that in there. Ooh, almost dropped that. That didn't work. So I went back to this old file that I had and said, okay, what if I dip the file in here, get some gas on the file, and I swear this, you know, when I did this the first time, I wasn't recording, so I actually had two hands. But basically, let me just tell you what I did. There we go. So I stuck this in there, okay? That's touching the gas now. And I just tapped a little bit of gas there, okay? Just a tiny amount. Really, that's all you need, okay? Let me just put this over here. So that's really all I did was I put a little bit of gas because what I was doing, I was guessing that the spark plug was good. Oh, I forgot to tell you this. There was also some dude who was um, like trying to test his spark plugs by using one of these, a, uh, what's this called? Voltmeter or something like that. I really don't know how to use this damn thing. Okay, but he was testing like ohms or something like that where you put one side over here and the other side over here and test how much coming through. Well, I did that, I just don't know what it meant. Um, so it wasn't mimicking what he was doing in his video. And so that did me no good. So that's when I went to the gas tank thing. So where's my spark plug? It's back over here. So now I've got gas on my spark plug. So really all I have to do is to put it back in here. And I'll start with finger tightening. And I want to make sure it goes in with the correct thread because I don't want to misthread that puppy. Okay. And my spark plug tool, that's what that's called. I don't know. And this to get some leverage on it. Okay, now, here's my legal warning. I'm not exactly sure how much tension you're supposed to put on these things. Probably a little bit more than I'm able to, whoa, come back here. Probably a little bit more than I'm able to with this little cheap ass thing, but it's doing the job. Um, so, you know, go get proper tools if you can. Um, I just didn't happen to have them. This is what I had around the house. So um, at that point in time, I had, hang on. At that point in time, I had sort of everything put back together and I wanted to give it a test. And this was still sitting here um, just because, I'll turn the ignition on, try the kill switch on. And Oh my God, I just broke it. But that's exactly what it sounded like before, okay? That is exactly what was happening before. That sucks because I'm making a video, how, whatever. Um, shoot. Okay, I'm not playing around. This is, this is not a test. This is, this is, did I screw something up? Okay, let's think about this. There's oftentimes something that I forgot to do. Um, let me check to make sure the gas can lid is on tight. That is, I don't know if that's required, but let me see. Hang on, I'm gonna pause, pause. Okay, I'm back. Had to resituate it that it was sinking into the ground. Okay, so sorry about all the light changes and everything. Uh, let's go step by step here. This thing is scooters on. Let me hold the button here. Yep. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so literally, whoa, scooter fell over again. 
pause. Aha! Wait! I did forget something! I did forget something! Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. Okay, so I just looked at it after I moved everything around. Look at this. Look at this. You see that? Look. You see that open spark plug? And this little thingy that topped to the spark plug? Okay. Make sure you put that back on. Uh, nice and tight. And I did check this beforehand last time. Okay. That's nice and tight now. Oh my god. I'm such a noob. Seriously. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna work now. I just know it is. It's like I'm such an idiot. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Of course. Really? Uh, I'm such an idiot. Okay. So, scooter's working. That's the good thing, right? Because A, it's a brand new scooter. Um, maybe you've got a new scooter. Maybe you've got a new old scooter, I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to throw that out there as an option to try because I really didn't see it. It's fairly easy to get that spark plug off. Um, and I don't know, probably not the safest thing to be dipping gas from a dirty, whoa, thingy. Um, but hey, it worked and I was happy. Um, afterwards, I, like I said, I rode around for you know, 30, 45 minutes, something like that, uh, just to make sure everything was cleared out. And um, any little things were um, stuck, in the, stuck in the lines. Made sure I cleared those out, hang on. Let's see if I get, I did look in the gas tank. I did look in the gas tank the first time. Um, and I'm gonna see if you can see this. Can you yeah, go all the way in there? I can't tell how that's going to show up on the video. All the way down there. Um, anyway, it was you know mostly clear, but I did sort of see some little brown flecks in there. I saw the brown flecks in there, and so I thought you know maybe one of those got into the line. I don't know if this is fuel injected or what or. Even if it is fuel injected, I don't know what that means. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hopefully it helps you guys out and uh, ride safe. See you. Bye.